guys welcome back to the channel i hope everyone is doing well so in today's quick lesson i'm going to show you how to pass some data from one view controller to another okay so for that you're going to create a new xcode project okay then you're going to select single view app click on next then you are going to give it a name okay so i'm going to call it pacing data make sure to use storyboard as the user interface then you're going to uh, click on click on next uh, create it okay cool once you have created it you're going to open main.storyboard okay and as you can see uh, here we just have one view controller okay so it's written here view controller and it is uh, it's the first one by default for today's lesson we need two uh, view controllers so you're going to click on that plus button then write view controller and drag and drop uh, the other view controller okay cool so before going further you have to know that for this first view controller which is uh, present here by default it has already his class okay here view controller class so for the second view controller we have to manually create another class okay so here you're going to press on control here and and select new file cocoa touch class click next here we are going to give it a name as second view controller click next and save it uh, into your uh, your project okay cool so once it's created we have to uh, link it with uh, our second view controller in the main in main dot storyboard so here you are going to select the second view controller and as you can see uh, for the moment it it has the same name uh, than the other one but now as we are going to um, link it with the second view controller uh, as you can see it has changed okay so cool now we are going to to drag and drop some object ui object so the first one that we need is button okay select a button and just put it in the middle of the the view controller then we need a text field okay just like that uh, we'll, we will use this object to you know uh, write some messages messages that will appear in the second view controller okay and the last object that we need is uh, a label okay which will display the message so we can put it maybe here okay you can stretch it too uh, concerning uh, the layout constraints matter uh, we don't care in this lesson okay that's not the purpose of my tutorial then what you have to do is to select the button okay press ctrl and drag it to the second view controller then you release the button and select show okay just like that now we have a segue okay which is a link between our two view controllers we are going to click on that segue and in here we're going to give it an a name okay as an identifier why just because if one view controller has many uh, segues uh, the identifiers help us to you know to to know which one we're talking about cool so now uh, you can close this side okay and we are going to link uh, these objects with their uh, with their classes okay so here we are going to select editor then assistant and we will have um, the half the half of the screen with the code okay so as it as it's uh, the view controller we're going to begin with this one uh, so you are going to select text field okay uh, press control and drag it to uh, to the class okay here we're going to call it simply text field okay just like the object make sure to put not a capital letter 
but a small one okay that's the, the how can i say the the rule uh, among developers okay then click connect and now we have our uh, text field object in our class cool then we are going to select uh, the label and as you can see uh, we are now in the second view controller so which is good i'm going to select it press control and drag it to the class release and you can just call it label simply okay just like that so as this label is uh, an object we need a variable we which we will use uh, to display uh, the text okay so you can write uh, var and not let because let means that the value won't change uh, in the time okay but concerning our app we um, the label can have uh, many uh, values so we are going to use var for variable okay then you are going to call it label text simply just like that and uh, at the beginning uh, it doesn't have any any value so we can just write while label text and just inform that it's a uh, type of stream string sorry and here in this function so the view did load function uh, is uh, called every time the app is launched okay so here you can write you can write label okay dot dot text so this label dot text the text property is equal to label text simply okay is equal to our variable okay and then we can go we can close uh, that and go in view controller okay and in here you can uh, call the prepare for segue okay this one and here you can write if segue dot identifier is equal segue okay that's a, the the identifier that we gave in main dot storyboard do you remember okay then let destination controller to be uh, equal to segue dot destination as second view controller and by writing that okay it allows this controller to use the second view controller properties for instance this one okay so here you can now write destination controller dot label label text is equal to uh, text field uh, this one okay okay i forgot that okay exclamation mark because uh, we want to be sure that there is a value okay so normally everything is good now and we can launch our app and it, sh and it should work okay guys so here we have our button our text field here i'm going to write hello guys hello guys uh, hello guys simply okay i think it's we're good and normally when i will click on button it will display this message on the second view okay so as you can see that's what we get so we we have um, succeeded in our plan okay cool um, that's all for today's guys uh, I hope you enjoy you enjoyed this uh, quick lesson okay I will do my best to record um, more often uh, new tutorials and maybe uh, uh, begin uh, begin a new uh, series or maybe uh, restart the the instagram series okay i'm going to th to think about it and i will 
and I will tell you in the next in the next video. Okay, guys, thank you very much for 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 watching my videos. Uh, I I see you in the next lesson. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.